Hey there viewers, this is 1 of 20 x 6 of Game Over here, and we're back with our Let's Play of Bionicle, the game for Game Boy Advance. We're gonna go jump straight into Toa Onwa Nuva's level, because the last time we played the Toa Onwa's level, it took close to half an hour, if I recall. Um, I have played through it a bit already, and I've uh, found most of the stuff in it already, off-camera. Uh, we, with our new jumping power that we didn't have before, we're able to avoid most of the rock puzzles that we had to do before. Like, uh, most- probably half of them can be skipped over now. We just need to jump to get to the next level. It's not very hard. Uh, there's- I'm not- quite sure how many matter on for certain, but there's definitely more than the minimum 16 in this level, and I'm going to collect everyone I can, just because. Uh, that switch we just passed up there a minute ago, it just activates a platform that you have a set limited time to reach. But we're not going there anyway, we're gonna break through this crystal boulder. So the platform being up or down is irrelevant. Uh, this puzzle here took me a small amount of time the first couple of times to figure out what I was doing. It's a pretty tough one compared to the earlier ones we faced off, but not too hard. I have a theory about what, what that one switch in the corner here, hidden by the wall, does, but I'm, I've never tested the theory, so I'll do it now. Uh, after the fact, I'll say whether or not it worked. Alright, so once we get a boulder onto that platform, it lifts this other one up. Standing on this one on the left will lift it up automatically. So now we can push the boulder to this final platform and onto the switch. And the puzzles only get- the puzzle, rock puzzles, whatever, only get worse from this point on. So get used to them. They probably are gonna take up most of the time of the entire level. Right, um, that second platform, I thought may it might have only been active if this switch down here, the wall switch, were active, but apparently not, so I have no idea what that, uh, one does. Probably nothing, but I'm confused now. This, this part of the game seems to have a lot of unfinished things in it, uh, the Toa Nuva part of Onwa's level. And apparently there is a, according to the instruction booklet that came with this game originally, there is a hidden password screen somewhere in the game that no one has ever really found. Like, uh, a hidden code, cheat code screen where you can get, like, easy enemies and mini Toas and whatnot. So I'm thinking maybe if they ever actually did leave it in the game, it probably has to do with all these switches that seem to make no sense in this level. But it, the game's been out for, I think, ten years already, and no one's ever found it, so it's pretty likely that it was just taken out in production at some point. Whether it does or not, whether it was or not, though, the entire game feels unfinished because of it. Like, it, it's not really the entire game that feels that bad, it's really just this one level that seems to have suffered from it. I haven't checked the, uh... Pohatu Nuva or Lua Nuva levels yet, but I'm assuming they're not as bad as this one has been. Because the first three were pretty consistent. Everything had a purpose, and it was all pretty straightforward if you knew what you were doing. This one, though, just doesn't make any sense a lot of times, as you've seen in that room and we'll see again later on. And, of course, we must push rocks for the entire video, because this wouldn't be a fun Bionicle game without so much rock pushing. The, the saddest part is, this wouldn't have been such a bad idea if you could just, like, push it continuously instead of having to do it one at a time. It just takes so much time up, and it's... tedious doesn't even begin to cover it. Also, there is a 1-up in this crevice here, which we will definitely want. We will need all the lives we can get for the later part. One part in particular that's likely to kill us. And after about 15 seconds of climbing to the left, we're able to move onward. 
Right, that is now, uh, 15 and 3. Alright, um, these are, I think, maybe even... There's, I think, only a couple more enemies in the game other than... Other, in the entire level, other than the ones in this room. So, it's a pretty ridiculously easy level from the... You, you won't take a lot of damage. You'll, if you're gonna die, it's just gonna be from falling. You're just gonna lose a life. Your health meter is pretty useless in this level. Alright, uh, normally we're going- we'd need to, um, break open that boulder and push the rock inside to lower this platform, but since we're Toa Nuba now, we can just jump to reach the platform. Saves a bit of time. And I don't think, uh, there's- no, there's definitely- yeah, there is something here. I'm trying to- I'm trying to remember whether or not it was in this room. Behind this boulder, there is a 1-up. I don't believe I've gotten it in the earlier video, the regular Toa Onua, but I believe I've addressed that it was there in the annotations or description or somehow. Right after the longest wait ever, the platform starts to move and we're able to move on with our lives. We're really close to being halfway there. Um, in fact, I'm afraid we might have missed one at some point, because we should be closer than this. That worries me. But if so, um... I'll, I'll know later. Oh wait, no, yes, I forgot there was one hidden up top here. So we've got them all so far that I've found yet. Uh, we can push this rock slightly to the side and just sneak in the crevice. Another helpful glitch of the game. This this was probably one of the later levels in production, because there's just so much wrong with it. It, it just seem, feels unfinished, probably unplay-tested. I don't think there's enough dark cage in the level, not that I could find at least, but I don't- I haven't checked out the entire level, so it might be later on. Alright, uh... Here is the single worst defender of the entire game so far for scrappy bits of a level. This room up here. You can only reach it as a Toanupa because you need to push the heavy rock out of the way. But it's just so poorly done. Uh, we'll go to the right, just because the level loops from there. If you go to the left, it's one way. If you go to the right, you can go to get back to where the left was. Yeah, we walked through the wall to get to this flat doorway that was way, way higher than that. Um, I can't tell if we can make it from here, but I hope so. This is the room where you're gonna need all your 1-ups. I hate to arc. I hate when that happens. Well, we're probably gonna use most of our 1-ups here, so get used to seeing the death animation. Can we make it? Yes, we can. Alright, uh, since this switch is moving, it's impossible to hit normally. You have to, like, catch it with a diagonal shot. Or at least that's how I've discovered it's possible to do it. Right after about 50 shots at once, we're able to do it. And it puts down a platform so we can enter here. And this is such a horrible room. I spent probably half an hour trying to solve the puzzle in this room because of how awkward it is. As you can clearly tell, you need to get that rock on the left to the switch on the right here. But I, I went as far as looking up uh, walkthroughs online to see if anyone in the world had solved this puzzle. Now, it turns out that there are no walkthroughs for Bionicle the game, which is obvious, of course. Um, if this is pushed any more to the left, uh, to the right, it will run into this fence. And as it is, it's already pushed as far left as it can go, so you can't push it to the right. So it's stuck where it is. What you've got to do is you've got to push it into the wall, as I've already done. 
and knock it out. That push into the wall will move it a cent a millimeter more to the right, to the left. And that makes it uh, close enough to be able to get by the fence. If any of that made sense to you, congratulations, you can understand my rambling. If not, don't be surprised. I'm not surprised. But it doesn't seem like that should be how you solve the puzzle. There's probably an easier way to do it that I hadn't noticed. Or maybe this entire level was unplaytested, because that's really the feeling I get from it. Oh yeah, and you also lose a lot of lives at this jump. I, it takes so long for me to make it, I don't know why. It shouldn't be a hard jump. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, 14 Madron. We're almost there. And, uh, we'll just move on a bit farther. 15. We only technically need one more. I don't know how many we can get. Alright, we've got a 1-up. Yeah, I'll just teleport out of here. Why waste the lives? Um, we can get to that room in another way anyway. I'll just show you then. Alright, it's back up to the top here. To the Toanuba only level. If I can make this jump. Which is seeming less and less likely. Alright, start by facing right. I'm getting my uh, directions mixed up because of this game. It's such an awkward view. I, I'll just show you what I can about this part here. Because the rooms really get confusing over here. There's nothing to the lower part, but up here... This puzzle took so long for me to solve, and even then, I, I just don't know what to say about it. I'll just show you. Um, That one switch, it's easy to get a rock onto. They're, they're all over the place. It just lowers, it just rises, raises both platforms, so you can get the left rock up here. Uh, this one's too close to the edge, it's impossible to push over here to where this other switch is. So, after a long time, I figured out how to get it. You push this onto the corner. Missed. Alright, I'll just go into this room and it'll reset, whatever. And, um, this is that room we were just in, with where we just died last. There is nothing else in it other than what we've already gotten, so I'm not going to go through it again. Alright, let's try to hit the switch again. Um, the only way I've been able to do it, I found, is get this on the platform, then make it raise up with the switch, rise up, whatever. Verb tense doesn't matter now. And what does that, you're able to push it onto the corner, and then push it so far that it will fly off onto the farthest platform. And from here you can safely push it onto the switch. Now the thing is, I have not found anything that that switch does. It doesn't open up a path, it doesn't move anything around. As far as I could find, that switch is completely useless. Which means, chances are, either it really does have something to do with that whole hidden password code screen, or it really is just a completely unfinished part of the game. Like, the only unusual thing i found, and I think it happens whether the switch is pressed or not, is if you knock this off, it'll move to the right before disappearing. So there was probably supposed to be a platform there at one point that got taken out. Uh, the, the entire level seems unfinished. Unfinished and untested. It's, this is really where the game slips up the most. Well, we're at the last segment of the game, and it shouldn't take too long to finish from now on. We might, probably won't finish in under 20 minutes, but it shouldn't take longer than that. Uh, these puzzles we've already done, so it's not going to be much of a shock to see them done again. You just gotta not screw around too much, you have ample time to do it. And just don't fall down. Now watch as I almost immediately disregard my words. What am I standing on? 
Okay. Worst perception yet. So now we can take this platform up to get a matter on, and then we'll move on, even though we have enough to get the key. Because this wouldn't be much of a video walkthrough if I didn't show off the entire video, would it? And I, now that I know that this is the closest thing to a video walkthrough this game will ever get, that's more pressure. Uh, yeah, do not fall down there or you cannot get up. It's a, if you fall into that pit, your jump key is disabled. I will not show you because then the, I cannot die, I cannot leave the game, and I will be stuck there for eternity until I turn the game off. And I'm not going to waste all the time and effort I've put into this so far to do that. Alright, so now that this platform will rise, we can get up again. And I believe there's another matter on up here. Yep, there is. And some light stones, which are now useless to us, but... There might be a dark cage up further on, I haven't checked really. Death by falling damage, unexpected. Odds are that'll be our last death though. Uh, let's see. Be, be swift. We could do that. Or we could just do this and jump up here. Yeah, let's do it like that, why not? Uh, I think this, yeah, it's a fighting area. So, this is the only enemy in the level you have to really fight, because everything else will just cut, is no threat whatsoever. After circling and hitting the A key a bunch of times, you can get the matter on. Uh, that's 18. There's definitely at least one more. I'm not sure exactly how many. Looks like there should be something up there, but there isn't. So I'll just heal and move on. Um, I don't remember having activated that before, but apparently I did. I can see there's an arrow telling you to go up here, but I you can't jump high enough to make it. I'm not sure if there's a third stage of uh, Toa later on, but shouldn't be. Judging by the series canon, I'm pretty sure that the Toa Mata stopped at Toa Nuba. Or maybe it's just another unfinished part of the game, or maybe it has something to do with that hidden password code screen that I'm not going to shut up about, apparently. Way to lag. Alright, uh, now we can go down here, and this is the last part of the game, I think. Maybe one or two more rooms after it. Alright, um, notice the blue floor. If you fall in it, you don't lose a life. For once they decide to be generous. Because why not? That's a pretty interesting concept to this level. It's a jumping puzzle, but with no threat of death, just threat of time wasting. And I don't want to take too long on this level, so if I die too much, I'll just cut out until the success. But the depth perception really hurts you on this one. I'm not even sure which way I'm supposed to be jumping. Except clearly not the way I already have been. I know I'm being pretty silent, but I don't want to say anything, because if I say anything important and I take too long to finish this part of the level, then it'll just get cut anyway. Okay, almost lost there. Yeah, um, up on this, uh, pathway here, there's nothing to the right, but if you go to the left for, like, quite some time, you'll get the matter on, which might be the last matter on, I don't know. And... There we are. And a 1-up, for no reason, because you won't die even if you land. Alright, let's go back. That's the only other enemy you'll really even consider killing, but you can just dodge it in like a second. 
And unless I can ever figure out how to get up that up pathway, then that's... that this is the only way left to go. Uh, you can do the puzzle, solve this with the puzzle, or you can just jump to it if you're a Toanuba, and you don't suck that bad. Okay, yeah, I made it so far. Why did I jump so low? I don't want to die here. After saving every other matter on, don't die on the last one. Alright, I'll give it one more shot and then I'll just quit. Okay, yeah, you made it. And I got a 1-up out of it, so I guess that pays off. Especially seeing as I immediately die. Good. Glad I got that 1-up. I think that this last room just has a shrine in it, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's just a pit you have to jump over, a shrine, and as far as... What? I guess you can walk over the pit, maybe? I... So much of this level seems so off. I, I'm just through. We're, we're at the end anyway, so just teleport to the bath and back to the start. Finish off the boss, let's see what his special power is. His attacks seem to confuse him. Wait until he's finished. I want to see this. Alright, so he does a spinning rotation, and then gets confused long enough to attack. But you can just follow him and hit him normally, it looks like. Nope, looks like you can't. Well, this looks like it's gonna shape up to be a long battle then. Once he starts to attack, he's invulnerable, so... I don't know, just play a game of chess. Start checking your email just half the time. I think he's closer to dead than I am, and I don't know why they shoot those things out. You can never run out completely, and you're not going to charge a shot against him. And even if you are, it won't probably connect like that one didn't. Well, fortunately, the Levok is almost dead. Two more shots to do it. Oh, this level. I hate this boss, too. That's another thing, though, I do wonder. Is it is, is the boss, like, uh, relevant to the level you're in? Or is it relevant to the number of levels you've already beaten? Like, if I played Pohatu, Nubas, or any of the other Nubas, would I fight a Livok or Tanok or what? Well, we got our energy totem, so this is over with. So this is- there we go. Well done, four rocks you down, two to go. I cannot wait for those two to be up. This has turned into such a chore playing this game. This is 1 of 26 of Game Over, signing out.